G'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Today we've got a the um, third match uh, in the white versus grey tournament round between Matri and Moofish here at the top and Regile and Butterhawk down here at the bottom. Butterhawk going Aeon as traditional. Regile going Cybran as traditional, Moofish going UEF as traditional, and Matri going Cybran. Interesting. So, Certus Major, a fairly well known map. There's a good bit of reclaim around the edges of those cliffs, um, <coughs> and there's the three choke points there, there and there, that one being blocked off with um, flak and um, a point defence, so uh, you have to clear that if you want to go through there, but not impossible. Uh, usual tactic is to edge build up to the factory, uh, up to the ledge here um, to get a um, a factory online um, and once we get the power generators um, the next target is to get those commanders up to um, the one of those three gateways um, I've got a bit of uh, central mass in the middle there an edge build going on there for Moofish. Um, getting a second, an air factory online here for Matri. And some early scouts and Mantis or uh, flares out to try and um, spot. Uh, Opposing teams coming through. There's no mass extractors that are easily ex um, accessible, so lab play uh, is pretty difficult there. That um, has probably been spotted now, and the hunters will make short w short work of that flare there. Um, looks like Moofish is uh, stalling pretty badly. Um, to try and get the rest of that. Yeah, I think he should have prioritised that power um, first. The uh, spirit is going to try and hide up here. Can he uh, escape? What, uh, where are these guys going? I suspect they've got a target order and they're following him. So, at the very least, distract them for long enough so that you get them out of the way. Um, meanwhile, we've got um, Regile taking down that Eruptor single-handedly, which is a pretty reasonable thing to do with a commander if you're not being attacked by anything else there. Um, and then you've got a bit of uh, mass to try and reclaim out of... Um, out of the center here. Um, do we have anything more going? Let's just go up to um, plus one speed here just to watch what's going on there. It looks like Butterhawk has got a, a PD on there and that will definitely put a crimp in the plans of the um, those hunters there, but we've got plenty of, it looks like, uh, pretty much uh, Medusa all day coming through here. Uh, where are they going? He's got a scout overhead uh, watching on there. Um, and we've got a, uh, a Mantis watching out here, but it's going to be pretty easily taken out by those Lobos, um, not moved fast enough. Um, so Moofish versus Regile here, they haven't occupied that space there. 
and it looks like um, Regile has retreated his commander back. He's taken out, looks like basically nothing from there. He's left that point defense there. Um, we've got a, a uh, definitely a problem um, for the Aeon Auroras there if they stay and stand around and uh, get hit hit by Medusa. Um, but at least he's been able to repel that. A uh, couple of Medusa on there to take out some of those um, P gens and mass extractor is going to really make your life annoying. Uh, got some bombers inbound, uh, and yep, they've targeted the power. Um, that's going to make life a bit more difficult for Regile. Can he get these? No, he hasn't uh, got his. Um, interceptors back and in fact they're right in the range of um, these what's he what's he up to there yep okay he's at least moving them in into range but um, they're going to be able to take out um, at least one of those uh, if not some of the other power generators and um, got the a uh, bit of an army taking out that raid here, uh, so everything returns to normality there. The looks like that um, PD has been quite easily taken out by the horde of Medusa there, and they're going to peck away at that uh, commander um, if he doesn't keep on moving. Raid coming through on the side here, more bombers coming through. Um, and interceptors as well. Um, that's going to really um, take nearly. Uh, I'm going to try to take out that um, mass extractor. We've got a couple of sky slammers to uh, hit the, the air raid there. And these mantis, if if they're well. Uh, microbe can easily take out this horde of Medusa. Uh, Lobo's coming through. You just need to dodge and weave, boys. Stuck and weave. Um, but if you don't, if you leave them sitting around like that, they, uh, they will be taken out. More bombers inbound. Looks like Moofish is going for very you know, early. Lots of air and bomber play. Um, but it's going to be once. Um, Regile has reacted to that. Uh, it might be difficult to pull more of that um, that kind of thing off. We've got another um, mass extractor here. Three mass extractors at Tech Two. Got a sneaky jester over on the side here, but um, Butterhawk is sending in his interceptors, and that goes other way of the dodo. Now the fight's being brought over a bit more to um, Moofish's side. Um, he's going to have to keep those Lobos at a distance and hope for the for um, things to remain where they are. They're being pretty well micro microed now, so um, his, the, those Lobos are not going to have a good time there. No play coming through that centre here though, and that's interesting given that Regile cleared out and cleared a handy slot in there to get through. Um, once again, as if you leave your um, units sitting around, then Lobos will take them out. A huge horde of Medusas forming up here, well into... got. Uh, Four land factories, three of which I think are producing Lobos. One that's gone to T2 for a T2 engineer. Uh, and the air factory over here. And we've got the range and speed guns going down for Butterhawk over here. Once he gets that online, that will easily be able to take, a, take care of those Medusas. Um, more good 
bomber play here, uh, trying to hit the factories. Um, and just needs to micro that um, a bit better. T took out the radar though, which is a good tactic. Um, mostly done on the speed gun here as well. And we've got a drop of Medusas away. That's going to be pretty punishing. Uh, if they can take out that power, then that's going to be uh, significant, especially if um, Butterhawk doesn't uh, get his upgrade done in time, that could really slow him down. Got uh, an army brought in to deal with them, but we've really pretty much got a standoff going for the shield, so yes, definitely going for a gun com on that side. Um, good raids through here and uh, good use of bombers. Um, needs to just get a lot more sky slammers over here to keep those bombers and just um, make ma uh, Moofish think twice about sending any more over there. Um, and it wouldn't hurt to get his interceptors. Uh, he's even got a Corsair online here. Um, what are we, what more are we building? More Corsairs, okay. So we could be going for a Corsair snipe. Um, looks like Butterhawk's now, he's stalling mass, he's not stalling power, so that's interesting in a way, uh, you could almost say that um, Matri did him a favour, um, free up a bit of um, mass out of those power generators, um, and where is... Where is Butterhawk's power coming from though? That T2 power generator, that's where. We've got an upgrade to T2 happening. No, an upgrade to T3 nearly online. That will be very interesting. No, no other reclaim going on here. There's plenty around there, plenty in the middle of that as well, so that's definitely something to take advantage of. And what radar, what what are these teams seeing? Well they've got T2 radar up here so they can see everything coming through there and Regile's radar is pretty small but he does have, I don't think he actually has radar on at all. Well, if not, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, whereas Matri has much smaller um, radio radio coverage, radar coverage, and you can see Moofish has uh, likewise not a lot of radar, so they're not going to be as aware of what's coming towards them. However, that raid is getting through, but it's met almost immediately by the commander, so that's really not going to go much where. And I've just got the ice cream truck going past as me as well. Just <laughs> you probably hear that in the background. Okay, it's all pretty static. We've got a full gun com, and it's not. It's just tapping its toes. Not doing anything here. Um, got a horde of T1 um, that's going down. We've got uh, T2 missile defense and point defense there. Um, that's probably so that those point defense can be uh, can do their work there. We've got the Corsair snipe coming in here from Moofish on Moofish. That is not. It's not doing a lot. It's uh, really not uh, getting as much done as you'd want. Uh, he's switched up to putting an anti-air turret in. Um, he, also, he also had a, um, uh, it looks like a tack missile snipe attempt. Um, definitely um, a 
major air engagement here and it looks like Regile and Butterhawk have come out the better for it. Uh, we've got uh, bombers inbound but they're very quickly taken out. Uh, we've got TAC missiles inbound but they're going to where the commander used to be. Um, more uh, more Corsairs coming in, very static over this side, and uh, there's Butterhawk, as I suspected. He's starting to make use of this central column. He's got the, we've got the option of um, trying to uh, attack with this, but that's pretty well defended. Um, we've got some T3 artillery uh, which is going to take out that, um, that missile launcher and Butterhawk is just hoovering up that mass. Moofish taken out by Corsair Snipe. Uh, Regile, Regile's plan has finally worked. Okay so we've got Immediately, Matri is starting to redistribute his forces to stop the incursion uh, there. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, they'll spot that commander sitting around not doing much. Will they actually try to t attack that? Got another Corsair attack coming in here, but it's going to have a hard time. That's is a fair bit of air defence um, going down there. Um, what can they get done with those Corsairs though? A pretty good engagement over here. <coughs> Butterhawks re retreating. Regile is full on concentrating on air, the air game now. He's got more Corsairs, he's getting got another PGEN going down. We've got um, yep, the uh, two um, heavy artilleries, three online, and they are just going to pulverise that if they don't get a, get moving out. <coughs> Can we see what they're aiming for? No, but it's a pretty good guess. It's going to be somewhere along there. Um, what Butterhawk's seeing is he can see those units and yes, he's attacking that Tech 2 point, de point defense. Once he can take that out, then the rest of that is going to be toast. Get a, he's got a, um, a little force assembling over here. And, ooh, and uh, that was a TAC missile launcher. Two TAC missile launchers uh, set up over here, making use of the adjacency on the, um, for the, uh, on the mass extractor, which is pretty clever. Regile now easily dominating air. He's got more and more Corsairs going down. Where is Regile's commander? Under shielding. He's got more power going down there, so I don't think he's going to have a problem keeping those up. Um, but we've got that anticipated push on the side here. We've got a push coming around there. That is going to have uh, pretty easy time and more Corsairs inbound. Where are we going with those? Can we get enough done on the shielding here? He's got flak going down, you know, laying down an air barrage. It's really going to take out most of those um, Corsairs. They just, just can't rely on them surviving that uh, that flak, that area of effect, effect damage. Matt, uh, Butterhawk using his gun com, getting in and getting some good uh, veterancy 
lay, laid down, just cleaning up those forces here. He can easily charge in. He's got plenty of shield, there's no problem there. Regile, on the other hand, really needs to deal with uh, this force here before it gets much further in and starts attacking his base, especially uh, with those Medusa. Uh, that's going to be a real problem if, he, if they get much further. And you can see they're already starting to hit the base. We've got an upgrade to T3 Air Wido. Butterhawk moving back to conserve his, his commander because the shield is now depleted in regening. Um, and that big bat battery of missile launches, that's probably what you want those um, Corsairs to be taking out. We do have some um, loyalists coming in. They're not going to get too far. Good as they are, and if they can u make use of their that stun capability, then that would be pretty cool. But yep, the missile launches are being taken out. That attack is ravaging um, Regile's base. Regile, how are you going? He's retreated. He's uh, basically lost most of that base. Uh, he's going to hope. So he's got some um, tanks transferred over from Butterfish, which is so Butterhawk, thank you. <laughs> Too many animals. Um, and instead we've got the T3 artillery, the T3 harbingers uh, m making a move now. Uh, that will be very hard to... to um, get rid of once they get inbound, uh, plus the gun com um, with a good dose of uh, veterancy and shielding um, and a bit of air support. Uh, Regile's now cleaned out that attack here and now we're really going to have to see what Matri can pull out of the bag. He's going for the T3 on the commander. Uh, is he going to try to produce more T3 units? Or is he going to try to um, produce an experimental? That would be an interesting possibility. He's not wasting any time though reclaiming this base here. Good work on that. But the, um, the Harbs take out this side and it's going to be Harder and harder to keep that economy alive for Matri. Serenity's now in range of that base. What are they going to do on that uh, on that shielding there? It's, they've just started their attack now. Uh, how many more do we have those? We've only got we've got the one down here as well. And another good use, of course, is to keep Matri from expanding too far. So Matri is having to send units over here to try and protect. He hasn't got any air over there, though. So that's going to make life more difficult for him. And those Corsairs are really just going to clean up all over there. What's our plan, Mr. Matry? What are we building? We're building a Monkey Lord. That's going to be a game changer, but the big question is, can he get it built in time? I think that's going to be very difficult at the moment. He's got a very good... Um, he's got a good attack coming through here, mostly in Matry's favour, by the look of it. Um, the Harb's not really surviving well against uh, that, but they've got the Guncom coming in that's just eating through those uh, remaining forces there. And look at that, just one-shots 
a loyalist. Uh, you really can't compete with that gun com. The rest of the the unit's staging point is being mercilessly taken out by Regile here. Um, we've got a sneaky raid coming through, which I think is probably what he tried to do originally. Uh, I suspect he has no actual vision over here, so he's just sending them in blind. Will they be picked up by those? Yes. They're just going to be munched uh, as soon as they get into range. Now we're going on that Monkey Lord, Matri. Looks like he's still trying to get production. Uh, he might, if he put everything towards it, he might just be able to get that in <coughs> done, but I very much doubt it. So certainly a magnificent effort, effort there. Um, And yep, the um, gun com and the harbs are just going to make very short work of the rest of that. Um, take out that PGM and you'll make his life even worse. Um, and just look at look at that. Eight harbs, seven or eight harbs there, and they're just mincing everything in their path. And the gun com comes in. Matri is going to try and make a break for it. He's really not got much hope. The, the hubs can outrange him. Good games all. Well played. Um, nice to see that use of the resources in there. Um, and uh, a real sort of interesting combination of raids. Really keeping the pressure up on both sides. Um, both top and bottom teams really keeping those lanes um, under pressure. Interesting lack of pressure in the, the centre here on the s in the start of the game, um, but it's something I think Butterhawk proved that you can't just take that, assume that that's not that's a no-go zone and no one's going through there. You can make use of those resources. Well played, and see you next time.